Alright, hello everyone, it's Jamie, and I'm back with my walkthrough for Nancy Drew the Deadly Device. Alright, so here's a book on Tesla coils. It's going to come in handy in the future, so make sure you take a look on, um, take a look at it. So you can take that with us. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Mason's not very forgiving. You don't want to be messing with his stuff. Sorry, I was just a little curious. You know, he's not here. Make you a deal. He's been lording his high score at aggregation over me. Take him down, and I'll let you poke around. Bye. Goodbye, Nancy. All right, so that's pretty awesome. He just offered us um, if we beat Mason's high score on the game in the lounge, which is called Aggregation. She'll let us snoop around his stuff, um, which is awesome. 15 things you never know about electricity. This is binary code. So this is going to come in very handy. This, bleh, I cannot talk. <laughs> this, this is going to come in handy later in the game. So make sure you can figure out the binary code. And what I'm going to do is... Do I want to play aggregation now? Did that. Can't check that off yet. That's done. Still a lot to do. I'm actually going to go... I guess I'll go play the aggregation game because some people don't know how to play it. So I think it would be useful for them to see. Um, I'm not very good at it, just FYI. <laughs> so the high score I need to beat is 22,500 in order to get to be able to snoop through Mason's things. Um, pretty much you earn the score changes every time you complete one level. And the aim of this game is to get... Well, I'll go to the instructions. You need to make matches with the pieces. Um, and they have to be adjacent to each other vertically or horizontally, and you need at least three of them. Um, and then there is a, a place in the game where it shows you what piece is going to come next in the track. So that's very useful, and you'll see why in a minute when I start playing it. Uh, these are different helper pieces. While will let you do any color piece. Um, wall separates things. Walls are annoying. And I actually haven't gotten to these because I never went higher in the levels. So, for example, you can choose to do pieces from any of the four sides. But the first level is really easy. What I recommend is just match the blue ones. And then you just finish that level just like that. Same thing as with this level. And see the next piece? This shows you what piece is going to come next. So say I match that one. That piece was just added to this side, if that makes sense. So here's yellow. So I guess your goal to complete a level is to match all of the pieces on the board to clear them all away so you have an empty board. Okay, so what this is saying is the next piece that's that's going to be available to you is going to be the yellow piece. So I'll put a blue one here, and then the yellow piece that we said was going to be next automatically went to this side. So what I'm going to do is go here, then go to this side, then go here. We've matched that yellow and um, put it away. Purple, blue. Okay. Um, it does take a little bit of practice, but it is pretty easy to get right away. So the next piece is going to be blue. So ideally, I would want to move either one of the bottom piece here or the, the left side here so I can have, or the right side, that works too, so I can have access to these two blue spaces if that makes sense. So for instance, if I were to put 
a purple piece here, then the blue's on this side, and it can access these three and clear that away. All right, now the next one is going to be um, brown. So now that there's the brown, can't really do anything at this point in time. So I'm going to put the brown up here. Yellow's going to go here. Another brown's going to be here, and then another yellow. So we cleared that away. Okay. So I'm going to put a green here, and then that gives me access to that. Alright. Oops. That was a mistake on my part. So I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Again, it may take you a couple tries on the game, but that's how it goes. away that piece there. Y'all can probably see better ways of doing this, but as of now, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's kind of something you have to figure out on your own as you play the game. And now I really don't know what I'm doing. Okay, well, that sucks. Eventually the game takes mercy on you if you're not doing too well and just lets you just make it easier for you to do what you gotta do. Okay, so on. Oh yes, so now we have positions where all three sides have a purple one, which is great. Okay, this, these roadblock things are an issue, but that's okay. Got to deal with it. Okay, I just need one more green, but the game's not going to give that to me. Okay, well now I have another green. Well, 
Now I really don't know what to do, I guess. Go here. Oh, roughly. Well, I can do that. Okay. That's a little bit better. Aha! There we go. Oh, yes. Okay. Alright, so we need to go one more level. Pretty much to beat it. You're pretty much always going to have to go six levels at least to get... beat the game. Obviously you can go, you can play the game as long as you want to, but just to complete the task you're given, you'll need to beat six levels. Sorry if I'm talking to myself and that just really bugs you, but that's what I do to try to figure this one out. Because aggregation causes, a lot, causes lots of aggravation to play. Because it, it's, it's annoying. It's just... No. Okay, so I'm not gonna put that there. Put there. Oh. the task you were given. So now we quit. Now Nancy won. Now we completed that task. And you can go sneak through Mason's things. That's done. So why don't we go and do that now? A text message from Ned. All right, so Ned is in this game, but you can't talk to him on the phone. Doesn't that suck? You just get these random text messages from him. Hello. I beat Mason's high score. You did good, kid. This is me looking the other way. It's a limited time offer. I'll let you go. Goodbye, Nancy. Sweet, now we can sneak through his things and not be judged. Okay, a book on biometrics will come in handy later. You can mess up things on his desk and be really annoying. You can actually get an award at the end of the game if you do that a lot. So I'm not going to try to go for all the awards in this game, but I will tell you how you can earn them. Um, this is a number very important. 
uh, this computer is, of course, protected by a password, so we're going to need to find that out. And then the password can actually be figured out through the whiteboard. So, we have it written down. I have to do now. If not, then that's an issue. Do I really not have it written down? I thought I had written down. Okay, well, um, I guess I will go check on that. And we're reaching the end of this video anyway. So I will go check out. I kind of remember how to solve it, but I just want to make sure I'm totally correct. So I'm going to just go double check the answer to, to Mason's um, computer. And then I will see you guys in the next part of the video. So thanks for watching.